Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the final three episodes of Onimichi Onisa and BTW, as I stated, um, because by the time this comes out, it'll be the next day. As I said in yesterday's real life, I am sorry, and in the post that I did yesterday in the community tab, I am sorry once again for making this two weeks late. Like I said, I should have said something on Friday. I did not, unfortunately, because I wasn't thinking up until finally around like two three o'clock in the morning when i was about to go to bed um and such so hopefully we don't get a point to where um this happens again but i think as i said in the real life video um please don't think that if something doesn't come out whether it's a pre-recorded um series that i've done on a different day or it's something that is supposed to come out that day if it doesn't come out either that day or either several other days later um, don't think I dropped the show because that is not usually the ham 50 out of 50. I like 100% I am usually busy. I am doing things that I have to do on my own time. Plus the fact is sometimes I'm helping my mom and sometimes I'm probably sleep. Um, <clears throat> cause my sleep schedule ain't the greatest <laughs> and such and I am still trying, even at my freaking age, trying to get a really good accurate sleep, uh, sleep ske uh, blah, schedule. I cannot speak. Um, so that I can wake up early in the morning, even though most, almost all of my shows during the week come out in the mid-afternoons and such. And I hate sometimes waking up around, like, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I have to immediately get started with, like, everything, and sometimes it gets very personally stress stressful a lot. But, hopefully, like I said, it doesn't happen again. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2... One, hold on. In three, two, one, go. Oh my god, it's better. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oda Major. I mean, we, yeah, we know you are just saddened and you know, depressed, like the rest of us in the world, but is there something else wrong? No. <laughs> you know he's going to beat the shit out of you. Oh, okay. How you doing? I think we need to have an intervention for him, guys. I mean, because he's clearly acting, you know, different. I think probably after once this show and, um, the other show, Real Life, that's what I'm talking about, when they're done. I don't know if I'll be able to do any other requests, because after that, like, once December comes, I'll be busy with both Demon Slayer Season 2 and JoJo, which I still need to make thumbnails of, so I need to do that. Oh, God. Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, because, oh, God. Painful encounter. What if somebody from his past comes up to <laughs> ah! Well, what else do you want him to do? To add, like, Bazazanish? I really, once again, we all know 
every single week that I've watched this show, I want to beat the crap out of the boss. Like, I'm sorry. Oh. No, no, no. Just pulled a muscle. He might need to go to the hospital. Yeah, and your body starts doing, like, the weirdest things. Mm-hmm. Some of you may not even experience it until you're, like, 40. It happens. I think, yeah, because, like, the worst thing that has happened to me, like, I, it was one day, this was, like, I think 2009, I I was playing um, Mario Party 8 with a friend, and you know how you had to, like, punch the crap out of, like, one of the, in the, one of the mini games. I literally went too freaking hard and went, bam, and, like, Oh, a muscle ball. and I was in the worst pain um for like almost a week and I even told both of my parents about it and I had to like in the end my parents ain't do shit about it So more of the story is always work out. Make sure that you, you know, you're okay. And if you get hurt, go to the spa and go get a massage. Because mm. that was like the worst excruciating pain that I've ever been in. Well, I mean, here's the obvious thing. Red means stop, green means go. Right, left, man. Oh, God, is Udamishi about to be in another sexual outfit again? <laughs> I mean, you know what? It accentuates his arms, and, you know, I'm not mad at it. It kind of makes them look buffier. See, this is just me and my love for anime men. <laughs> and it makes his legs look good, too. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. I mean, he's worn some of the craziest outfits on this show. I, I'm like, oh god. Mm hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, slow your behind down. Like I don't know how people how people drive in like different states of the United States, but here in Florida people are assholes. Poor baby, he in so much pain. Can we say cut so we can go get a rub? 
slow down, please. Okay, go ahead and leave. What's in the box? That is truly hell. Unjust holy hell. I literally cannot believe you were like, yeah, we're gonna make this. Unfortunately, yes! Yeah, I mean, just like one or two would be fine, but not like a whole freaking box full. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Is that Facebook? <laughs> I, I had to delete the app off my phone because I barely use Facebook. I'm sorry. You gotta feel bad for him though. He has, He's had one tragedy after the other. Oh, poor baby, once again. Mm. Yeah, that, that door is as if they will never open up again for him, unfortunately. Unless he finds someone, like, almost as hateful and miserable as him. Hmm? Okay. An elephant, okay. Honestly, kid, you don't. Oh, baby. Oh, oh God, depression. Help me. <laughs> oh! Well, I mean, but hold up. You can still change careers. I mean, baby, you're still young. Trust me. 
True, I get that. there oh baby <laughs> and then you got the dinosaur in the background who looks like spike from my little pony Once again, I just need the saves of these two to just make a full damn album together. I mean, goddamn, just do it. I, do, you, I, do you know how much money I would pay for it? Probably like 20,000 yen, even more. You want 100,000 then? <laughs> I feel bad for all of them. Like, this job does not pay them enough <laughs> to do the shit that they gotta do every single week. Last time, it was them working on a summer video. Not, no, not even a summer video. On a winter video. In the hot ass summer. No! Oh, God. I hate it. It would have meant you about to walk out. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. My heart. I'm not ready to laugh at him again. <laughs> my last two brain cells. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't get a birth insuration and you want a Udamichi doll with a <laughs> Oh god, please no. Yeah. Damn, Kikaku. I, mm, damn. Bar kick. <laughs> kick. Cat kick. <laughs> yeah, because once again, you don't pay him enough! <laughs> ah, wrong person. But yeah. I mean, because honestly, you always ask him to do things for you. Can we not talk about that? Like, you know, what if all of us are not ready to get married at like 28? Oh God, just, just thinking about that. The future, stressful. 
Ora looks good. Really? Another. <laughs> Did you see how he glided? <laughs> I knew <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Of course. You know what? I do the same thing too. If there is that one person we are not in the mood to talk to, it's like, yeah, how are you? <laughs> oh, awesome, baby. Oh, that looks good. I mean, it's not really a multi level 45. Do I kind of want alcohol? Not really. Maybe I'll just wait until Thanksgiving to have alcohol. Watch a good Christmas movie and get semi drunk. <laughs> you gonna meet you with a Toys R Us? He was looking at dress up dolls? Okay. I, I think so, honestly, but maybe he was just buying it for a little girl. I mean, hey, you know, there might be some boys who want to dress up a doll. I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, hell, there are doll collectors out there, so come on now. Cute. Just like a doll. Uso, shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. Very nice. Well, that's good. I mean, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> it's just misunderstandings. Misunderstandings in a fucking nutshell. But, I mean, that's sweet. Like, you know, he, <laughs> like, even though we didn't really see it, but having, like, an off-screen moment where it's, like, him and Connie Tony were talking about, like, what to get his knees for a present and everything. I love that. And such. I mean, come on. It's fucking adorable and such. But, baby! <laughs> Can we just talk about the <laughs> Once again, out of all the costumes Udamichi has worn, like the cat costume, that's still one of my personal faves. I don't know, it's just something about seeing a guy who used to be a freaking gymnast, you know, and then he has the muscles and everything, and then he's in a kitty cat costume. It's like, okay, 
It's like all the videos that I'll see either on like TikTok or pictures on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. And there is a really nice, attractive guy wearing like a freaking my bunny girl senpai um, outfit. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm in awe. Like, yes, it looks so good on them. And I'm like, guys, I'm like, screenshot. <laughs> But seeing him in his regular Urumichi Onisan outfit with the day <laughs> Marin. <laughs> oh, shit. That. That. <laughs> uh, priceless. <laughs> I can't. Like, seriously. I mean, just that whole, that last little bit of the song and them just playing Ring Around a Rosie. And it's, that is like my last two brain cells trying to figure out like, hey, what's this? <laughs> trying to figure out a problem or just like reading something and you're trying to reread something. You're like, hold on, I'm so freaking confused by this shit. <laughs> or when you are dead tired and it is your last two brain cells like, all right, we're going to go to sleep now. And then you are like, but you're trying to stay awake at the same time, which has happened to me when I did that nine hour video recording and I said I will never do it again thank god it hasn't happened yet yet but <laughs> my my brain cells at eight nine o'clock the next morning was just like Deisha go to sleep and I got in my bed when the first thing was editing and I was just like all right I'm okay I'm okay and then I was like <laughs> I was just good I was like goodbye but, I, I mean, I also felt bad with him. Like, the fact is that Unmichi pulled a muscle. Because, as I said, like, pulling a muscle is one of the most worst things. Like, especially because of the fact is, when you are in, like, your teenage, um, angst, angsty teen-ish, teenage years, plus to, like, your early to mid-twenties, like, it is very super quick and fast that you can, like, heal and stuff. Like I said, it was one of the most, most worst experiences that I had. And that pain it makes it hard to sleep and such. This is kind of like, uh, okay, during the summer of this year, like I went to St. Augustine with my mom and her girlfriends and I was wearing these platform um, sandals and I was getting off the boat. But because of the fact is my legs and my body was so used to the boat coming back onto land and on this pier, I like <laughs> ate it and I ate it bad to the point where I fucked up um, my knee. And I was, I, w I was bleeding a lot, um, and everything. And so it took like, it took like maybe eh, about a couple of days, two, three days for it to heal and such. But it was really hard for me to walk on my leg because of the fact is it was worse that night. Um, I didn't get the whole thing cleaned up. So my leg was like really infected. So I had to hurry up and like make sure everything on my leg was okay. Thank God nothing happened to my fucking leg. Um, but as I was saying with the muscle thing, with that, like I said, worst pain, don't ever be like that and such. And even when you have both, you're telling your parents or even anybody who's close to you, like, hey, can you rub my neck or the side of my shoulder blade and such? And people will look at you like you are flipping weird. Like, why do you need me to do this? And then you have to explain to them and this is in 2009, you know, with the Wii and everything. Like, yeah, I pulled a muscle. I got a Wii injury. And that was freaking common. Like, I knew I had, I knew kids who had injuries like that. And adults, and it was just like, bam. And I was like, yeah, when I ever, <laughs> and I remember, like, I was home. And I got the Wii as, like, a late, I think it was, like, a, a Christmas present or some ish. Or whatever. I don't really remember. Um, but I got it, and I was like, if I ever play Mario Party again, I am going to take my time with that, and thank God that I did, <laughs> because, uh, you never want to experience a certain pain again, like, oh, uh, you, you just want to experience it once and once only, that is it, but yeah, <laughs> go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, hold on. Okay, take two. And three, two, one, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I can't do it. Oh my god. I know how to do it, but it's so hard. <laughs> there we go. Are you quitting? This is a big misunderstanding. I think he's quitting smoking, probably. See, this is the one thing about Uso. He kind of, Usahara comes in at, like, the wrong freaking times. And, and that's the big thing of his character. He always gets misunderstandings, like, so freaking wrong, and I love it so much. <laughs> and now he's coming to the bar to tell everybody. Exactly! He could be mistaken! He just came in at the wrong freaking time, and so he's now going to take this information and freaking run with it. My boy, like, damn. Why don't you just go ask Udamichi? Flashback. Ooh, backstory. Love it. Damn, he had this like earlier today with freaking um well yesterday, but you know, by the time y'all see this. Um freaking uh annoying senpai and now we're having it with this. Of course. Huh. Taro? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I know, you know, he just, he baby, he baby. Oh, you better answer right. He's ready to go home.
Have you? Seriously? But also, hold on. oh my god. Oh, don't worry, because you'll have a new roommate soon. <gasps> Baby! Everybody has officially appeared in the episode in a flashback. Oh, it's so cute. Hmm. Who to meet? She's behind the door. Stop it. I can't. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I love the fact that Kumitani is like always like cares for Usahada. I mean, you know, sometimes he can be like, I, I could really give like a rad's ass about you, even though we're friends. But, you know, <laughs> Usahada really doesn't have anyone else besides Kumitani and Udumichi. So I get why he's like that. Of course. You sure? Hmm? That's not good. She's okay. Well, here comes Kamadani. Oh, baby. Oh, God. No, that's just thunder. Oh! 
see, you should have gone to the hospital or at least the medical clinic. That could be worse. Mm. I don't think so. Yeah, could have somebody could have possibly died. You can see in a way he kind of blames himself for that. <laughs> Is that a... <laughs> Yeah. Do you want to go to the clinic? Yeah. But you need to go. This could be worse. Exactly. You don't want that, do you? Listen to Best Boy, because you know, Best Boy knows what's the thing. Yeah, where did Grim Madonna go? <gasps> he would love the cats here in my apartment complex, because like all oh, they, there's a baby kitten and it's so adorable. make me act up That's the start of a boy's love right there. <laughs> if you only know. <laughs> Excuse me. Exactly. I mean, seriously, he's very hard headed. Exactly, and unfortunately, it ended for him so quickly, too. Because for him to have that smile in the beginning, and then for him to currently and present day to not have that smile, of course, his entire life future that he had, which is taken away in a heartbeat. And you feel for anyone who is a person who, uh, I can't speak, is an athletic and who goes into a career in sports because just like that, their whole career could end. Yes, they can do something in like medicine or anything or even be like a sports advisor for like the sports networks that I've seen. But, you know, some people want to be in that action and everything. And so you feel bad for them. Oh. Ah. No. <laughs> 
Really, Nakataka, of course she would. Or you could just fix it so that it could work better. Oh, Kamitani, where are you going? You'll see. Aww. Please tell me something didn't happen to your little brother. Okay, good. So mainly you just changed because of your brother, or really for your brother. Yeah, you basically were. Oh, but come on, you could have gone together. Uh, this also seems the start of a boy's love as well. destined to meet each other no matter what. <laughs> well, I mean, when it comes to cat, cats, Kumitani, you know, very level. Once again, best boy. Yeah, that's what you get. Like a new apartment?
In a way, he's got his awkward smile back. Oh. Something just tells me with, like, the final episode, we're going to find out, like, if he is truly quitting his job or it's just, once again, big, huge misunderstanding, as we all thought, as I thought of at the beginning. But seeing a flashback episode and seeing how really happy Udamichi was and seeing him in present day, which, you know, ever since he's been, like, in the beginning of the series, once, once we met him... And seeing also everybody else and seeing yeah, how depressing everyone else is at the present day because, you know, we all feel like that and such. Um, as I said, as someone who goes into that career becoming an athlete and because of an injury or something, that could be life la long lasting. That's the word I'm looking for. And hella permanent. What do you do after that? How do you find out, like what you truly want to you know do for the rest of your life i you know i feel bad for all of them because they were all like in a way from this flashback they were all at their highs and being at this job is like at the lowest of their low but because of the fact is that you know they've made friends with each other whether it was through college or just little glances and then get eventually getting to know each other and such they are they're a family and you know having someone if Udamichi is leaving that's gonna be like damn like our family is getting a divorce like that's one of the worst things that you could probably ever think of having you know this core family that you've had for initially since the beginning of the damn series to now it possibly breaking apart makes you feel some type of way and it's like okay hold on how can we still have someone or have that family time moment together without that one person and some people you know groups families friends whoever they're able to you know do that and you know be able to have time to you know like <clears throat> spend time like separately but still also have time for you know everything else and sometimes some families can't do that and it is really hard that's the same thing with friends and stuff and so even at the age that I am at um it is hard. It's really, truly hard. And so I, I really just hope that whatever is going to happen in this last episode, that Udamichi is happy. That's really all I want for any of these characters, because I really, truly love these characters from the first episode up until the final episode and seeing them all do something together as a family. But if it is, you know, time for Udamichi to, you know, move on, this is now eventually going to be the point where eventually everyone else is going to move on and they're not always going to have time for each other. And that's really sad. And I hate that because, you know, you always want to be around people that you care about and such. Yeah, you can still call them, but it's not the same, you know, like it, it's different calling people and then actually getting to see them every day. And so, you know, you really got to feel bad for Usahara because this is like his, his safety net, really for all of them. This is their safety net. Yeah, it's not the greatest job, but this is where they all can relate and they're truly happy with each other. And so it just breaks my heart if Udamichi leaves, like really. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for, hold on, the final <laughs> episode okay final episode and three two one go please don't let Rumichi quit I, I I beg you we're probably not gonna have the intro no. yeah. oh my god no But it's what it, oh, <laughs> God, he's really doing this. Hmm. 
Yes. Tell how you truly feel. Do it. So he's not leaving. Yeah. Hmm. See? I knew it. See, you had nothing to worry about. Then why didn't you say anything, Kumazani? Oh, well, of course, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think Usahada deserves it. Yeah, but you misunderstand any everything. And besides, like he said, you didn't ask. Like, I can't imagine, like, any, everybody watching the second to last episode and freaking out, like, over oh, what the fuck? Like, is he actually leaving? Yeah, basically. It happens, everyone. Yeah. You want to go drinking later on? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that fish and everything, like, ooh. <laughs> Stranger danger. But, okay, hold on. What if Udamichi doesn't have any good ideas that you personally like? No. Book it out of there. He should have just hurried up over the door, but like, yeah. <laughs> Please, no, just leave him alone. Poor baby. <laughs> Too late. now you tell me no are you serious <sighs> unfortunately yes yeah I mean you know Udamichi just came in at the wrong time you know
<laughs> I mean, you're just funny when you're drunk, bro. Yeah, me is stalking you. Maybe you should call the cops. I mean, but yeah, how did, how would that work? Especially, but like nine one one, which emergency? I have a coworker who's stalking me. Be like, why is this talking to you? Because I wouldn't give him ideas. <laughs> oh, God. Then, okay, hold up. Then don't tell him. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <gasps> oh, come on. <laughs> Poor baby. Your friend, yeah, you're supposed to be friends. Oh my! <laughs> yes, everything. This is now the best freaking outfit. Yes, bonjour. Come on, Tony Boo. Yes, oh my god. Yes, we we like. Oh my God, it's everything. <laughs> I feel so bad for him, but I love it though. I love, I love the margarita headband. <laughs> Bravo. Well, I mean, did you DVR like every single episode so you could just rewatch it over again? Well, true, you're right. Usually, sometimes by the end of the episode, it's like a confirmed you know, thing. I might get another season. Watch that happen in this episode. <laughs>
The fact that he predicted this and now it's now happening, like, are you kidding me? Don't worry, you'll find him. There's a kid behind you. Ma'am? Well, I'm, you know... At least we got, we wrapped it up fairly quickly. Yeah, I'm happy that you found the boy. Right? Because I would definitely be having some mixed feelings right now. Yeah, where is Toto? I hope he's okay. Oh no! Oh! oh god! Just hurry up and get him to the fucking hospital, please. You're not bleeding. They said you were bleeding! Yeah, that wasn't oh, Tom anymore. That was <laughs> I was passing up my simple gear. Oh No. No baby no no okay. Oh Great job guys. Oh, hell nah. Mm -mm. See? See, you should have dumped your boyfriend, baby. Yeah, she about to be the most badass sinful girl user. That slash persona user. Yes, please, please leave Utano alone. Like, you know, once, you know, women like us, we are very pissed off about that shit. We don't want to talk to people. All we see is red. Please tell me nothing, something's wrong with the dog. Do not! Oh, God. I'm sorry. No! <gasps> okay, good. Oh, thank God. Good job, Sayuri. Well, I mean, you know what? In a way, everything that's kind of... There, there's more good that has happened in this episode than bad. <laughs> in the middle of the hallway? <laughs> Hold up now. Excuse me. Like, what if it gets worse after this? Hmm? A handkerchief? Hmm? 
Uh, wait! Posada. Uh, this boy, this man. No, please leave him alone. Huh. Yeah, and that means more work for him. I mean, yeah, you know, get your coin, bruh, but seriously. You got some, uh, Bonjour Man toys? I'm scared. I need an adult. Yeah. Maybe something could happen to him, though. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you guys will still be together forever, for a while. Right, I mean, it is, though. Why is that one kid's back to the camera? <laughs> oh, it's always that one kid. <laughs> Alrighty. Final thoughts on this show. I really, really, truly enjoyed this a lot. I mean, this made me feel any type of emotion in the dictionary. I don't think it made me cry, but, well, <laughs> tears of laughter. Lots and lots of tears of laughter. Yes, there were some moments, especially with, like, Kumitani's backstory and then his, you know, co-worker hitting, uh, kicking the box with the cast inside of it. That, that made me tear up. And, but still at the same time, best boy Kumitani kicked his ass and I'm still proud of that man. That is my lover for the rest of the day. Like, oh, I, I want to marry Kumitani. That's it. Okay, I will be so happy. The cast of this was so damn good. That's all I gotta say. I, and I really would like to see maybe this whole cast do something together again. So, I mean, I think, like, the biggest thing what I would like to see for this next, maybe just, like, a one, like, an OVA hour-long episode or possibly a movie. But really, I don't think that's gonna happen. But I think because of the fact is at the time of when this came out during the summer... Um, 
every single week, I think a lot of people really got into this series. I mean, this was on... The fact is that this was being talked about on Twitter, and I was so busy watching so many other things, and I was like, I'm going to watch this. And the fact that I finally did this, and even though I officially uh, am finally done with this, with all the things that I have been busy and doing and everything, and sometimes having time to watch this, and then, sometime, and then not having times and stuff... I really enjoyed this a lot, and I will miss this show. I think this is going to be one of those shows that I, I definitely will pick up the Blu-ray for this because it was really good, and I loved it a lot. Having some of my favorite male and female seiyus be in a series together, and especially because of the fact is, you know, with Mamoru and Nanamizuki and how they, are re they have a really good friendship and stuff, and seeing those two in an anime together, um, despite persona and anything else they've been in this is probably maybe my like now favorite project they've done together and it makes me wonder to see like what else they have done together in the past <laughs> there's the ring around the rosy with the bread <laughs> but i really personally enjoyed this i mean this like this struck a chord like straight up this this show, this series knew what the target audience was, and they fucking went with it. And I loved it. I mean, you know, you gotta love how, like, the kid with his back is the camera. I can't. A uh, child. <laughs> so, drinking? Anyone? I mean, seriously, y'all deserve that. It's the last episode, so. It, it, no, today, we drink our, in our sorrows. We need to drown in our sorrows. Come on, Udamichi. It's the final episode, babe. And it's fine. His smile is so fucking cute. I love it so much. Like, I can't. His fucking smile. It's just everything. But, yes, this cast, like... I, I think, really, I knew every... Out of the core main cast, I knew everybody except... Usahara. Usahara was the only Seiyu that I didn't know. But, like, coming in and knowing the cast and everything like that, yes. Like, oh my god. I, I just, I love it when shows get your favorite Seiyus and ish together and it's like, you already know it's gonna be good. Like, what, who all is signed the fuck onto it? And especially, I mean, when you have that magic with someone and you're just like, yes, like, Mm, you know you do good with that person you like yes i want to be in almost like every project with that person that's what this is that's what a lot of animes are and such and even tv shows that i've watched like from when i was a kid even up until now where you get someone who is friends with someone else and they have that connection and you feel that on-screen chemistry that friendship everything when they're in a scene together and you're like damn these two play off like with each other so much it's just so freaking good and i really enjoyed that about this show i mean i would i like to see, uh, see a second season of this hell yeah in a heartbeat because this was just a really good show like i said this had a target audience where it was for you know um teenagers who were like 18 to people who are in their 20s or their late 20s and such like me and so how we could really relate to how the how we feel about the world because you know when you come out of high school you uh, i cannot believe i'm about to compare this okay you know that one snl thing that zach afron was on for like the you know the bullshit high school musical thing and everybody was like oh my god when we get out of school you know when we go into college like it's gonna be like high school musical but in college and it's like no it's not like that like the world is not fucking like that and so it will chew you up and spit you out and like literally not give a shit about you like yeah your friends and family of course they're gonna care about you but People who you've never even met ain't going to give two shits about you and such. But the fact is that these core characters were able to 
find each other and be able to have their own family it is still sweet and i love that thank god udamichi didn't leave because it, it, it just would have been really off if he did and someone new came in to replace him because that dynamic and that friendship would be off and stuff it's almost like how like okay imagine if you're in a group project or something or you're in a band idol group whatever someone eventually graduates but someone is getting replaced that person who graduates gets replaced by someone else that dynamic that you had with that other person who graduated it it's weird and it takes a while for someone to get used to think because they did that with um i think not uh the the most recent season of aggressive of let's go and how when she came into the um, the idol group and how that one dude was really pissed about the fact that she was in it and saying that she ruined the group and he wanted to, you know, kill her, which was very traumatic and sad to see, you know, even like even for an animated cartoon like that and the um, adult situations that that goes through like oh my god but just imagining that it is sad and you never really truly know what in the world is going to happen you don't want that to go in that way but thank god that that never really happened but it's just a still big old what if i mean this show the way it ends it does leave like oh hey it could have a second season or something i think they're probably they're probably going to do something i mean come on this is the same company who I don't, they've done like a couple other animes that I've seen and I can't really remember. I think they did Promise Neverland. We ain't going to talk about that though. We're not going to talk about Promise Neverland. <laughs> um, they did a couple other animes that I have seen. <laughs> um, how this is the same company that is doing um, Annoying Senpai. So who even knows how that's really going to truly end. So probably maybe about like a year or two from now. Maybe if they want to do something special. Um for the people who really truly enjoyed the show like myself and others they're probably gonna do this they're probably gonna have this cast like come back for like one big ginormous like big ass finale and they were like here here's something extra guys <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Udumichi Onisan if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out it <laughs> Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially whenever the, whenever the heck, um, you know, or really whatever the heck is going to come out for me next, which, of course, that will be um, JoJo Part 6, and then, of course, Demon Slayer Season 2, and then anything else that normally comes out almost on the other days that I have things out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.